Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, do you know how to add sequence number with log messages on Cisco IS? See, by default, if you will see log messages on Cisco IS, right, you will not get sequence number there. But if you want to add sequence number with log messages, you can add, right, by running one command. So if you are among the people who don't know how to add sequence number with log messages, then watch this video till the end. And if you know how to add sequence number, it is easy. Yeah, I know this is easy. So if you know, then this video is not for you because I am not interested to waste your single minute, right? So if you know, then don't watch this video. If you don't know, then guys, this video is only for you, right? Because anyone can ask you and this is simple, a small concept that all network engineers should have knowledge about it. Okay, so now let's begin. See guys, here I have console of router one and on router one, if I will, you know, do anything like uh, any event will occur on router number one, it will generate one log message. So I'm going to create one loopback over here. Interface, let's say loopback 10. So on loopback interface will come up, it will generate one log message. Here you can see the log message, right? In this log message, we are able to see date and time after that facility, security label, right, mnemonic and the actual message, right? But we are not able to see any sequence number over here. But if you want to add sequence number with this log message, you can add, right? How? By running simple command service, service and then put question mark over here. So you are getting lots of option. So you can say service sequence number right and then let me put question mark we don't have any option so you need to run this command service sequence number once you will hit enter over here and now whatever log message will will generate on router number one it will generate with sequence number right so to verify that what i am going to do i am going to create one another loop back on same router let's say interface loop back 20. so this time we are expecting log message with sequence number and yes guys you can see sequence number over here right this is sequence number now if i will create another loop back if this router will generate another log message then sequence number should be incremented by one so let me create interface loop back 30 and let me check yes you can see sequence number in this log message is what 28 so sometime in real time we are adding sequence number with log messages so that we you know we can track the log messages we can track the log messages and that's why we have time as well here if you don't want you know time and date with log messages what you can do you can remove it by running against this command service and here we can say time stamps log by default this command is enabled on cisco is that's why we are able to see date and time right so if i will remove this command from here right, this is hidden command guys if i will remove this command from here and now if this order will generate log message it will not add date and time right so let me do one thing let me create one more loop back over here to verify say interface loop back let's say 40 right and this time i am expecting log message without date and time and yes you can see the log message right in this log message we are able to see sequence number but we are not able to see any date and time information right so this is a small video just to make you understand how you can manipulate with these things right in the syslog so this is concept of syslog sometime interviewer can ask you or maybe anyone can ask you brother uh, how to add uh, sequence number or how to remove or how to add date and time with log message again let's say i want to add date and time with log messages what i can do again i can run this command service timestamps log right again it will start adding date and time so interface look back let's say 50 right so in this log message you can see this is my sequence number then we have date and time after that facility then security level then mnemonic and then actual message so hope guys you like this video if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys that's all for today thanks for watching